dear children we'll come you to another lesson conducted by the right to read team in collaboration with the ministry of education right so i have some things can you tell what they are here we go what is this i brought it all the way from my home to show you i know you have this at your homes also in your home gardens what is it a banana leaf right yes i um and what is this when do we use it yes a cap and this hmm? what is it yeah you can see what is written there notebook when do we use it hmm? banana leaf why do we use cap when do we use notebook putting all these things together what is it let's go to the lesson now i'm going to give you some words and you are going to guess those words and i'm going to my pdf now yeah right let's see yes so here we go i have some words here these words are related to the lesson today can you guess those words the first one i have given you it's trip wow a trip yes a trip yeah second word third word if you like you can put it on the comment box fourth one mm -hmm. yes and these are the ones trip nature breakfast booklet uniform right so this is the content of your lesson today trip good right uh-huh lovely i also like to go on trips okay so here we go i'm going to give you some words you are going to look pictures you are going to look at these pictures and write a few words what you see quickly mm, i spoke about a notebook i showed you a notebook why do we need a notebook? What are the other objects we see? It's a real picnic, right? Okay. Aha, uh -huh, we have food also. So that's why we needed the banana leaf to wrap your food. What else do we see? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, we see a mat, a cloth over there. Lovely. So can you guess? What the lesson is? Hmm? Who is going on a trip? Let's see. Let's go to our reading and see. Right. So you can turn to your... I will show you the... Um, uh, the, the your textbook. I will show you the textbook. Right, I will share the textbook with you. Right. So we have two friends, Hussein and Kavihin. Who are the two friends? Hussein and Kavihin are the two friends. Where are they from? Hmm? They are from? Yeah, Kannangara Mahavidya. Look at this picture. Hmm. Are they happy children or sad children? Should be happy, right? So they are going on there. Annual trip, annual. What is annual? Hmm? Annual, if you can spell the word annual. A-N-N-U-A-L, annual. Yes, annual trip. So what do you mean by annual? Let's see yeah, in uh, Tamil. Varudanda. Yeah, Varudanda. Once a year, no annual. What is annual in Singhala? Let's see. Varshika. Once a year. No? Right. So, annual. Right. So, we also, I'll give you another word. Absent. Have you been absent from school? Huh? What is absent? Hmm? You don't go to school or any other place. Right. What is this? Hmm? What do you mean by that? Hmm? 
ya so gaman vistare itinerary is gaman vistare ya you know where you are going ya so let's see the tamil word payana ya your journey premises is a place right premises hmm valagattam ya valagattil so in singhala yeah it's a it's a place parishraya yes um yes so let's see these are the words you know what a program is program yeah where does satahana in singhala when it comes to tamil what do we say tittam yeah tittam program you have an agenda okay and what are the other words you need to no meals you know what meals are let me show you the picture of a meal meal mm, yummy meal breakfast you know lunch you know wrapped you wrap we wrap in a banana leaf wrapping yeah what is wrapping in our mother tongue yeah yes and what is that in singhala wrap yes good um yes so we'll see why uh, where they are going these two friends so i will on the audio now as usual i know i would like to remind the purpose to enhance your reading skills so i'll be um switching on the reading app you will hear it and you are going to you are supposed unit to unit 4 after this mother nature activity 4.1 act out Hussein and Kavin are grade 8 students at Kanengada Mahavidyalaya. Kavin was absent one day and Hussein called him to inform him about the program for their annual trip to Kandy. Mm, so what happened? Yeah. Yes, so who are the what are the names of the friends? Kavin and Hussein. In what grade are they? grade 8 good right so who was absent from school kavin yeah you are right and who calls him hussein why do you think he sent hussein called him to find out what was wrong with his friend yeah to inform him about the program he doesn't know that he is sick but he just calls to say okay look here now we are going on a trip annual trip to kandy where are they going to kandy so i'll be playing this again you are supposed to repeat after this so hussein all the girls will be hussein all the boys will be kavin we'll see right here we go i'm going to play you are going to read after this and i'll be asking questions true or false questions you are supposed to answer right you have to say true if it is true and you have to say false if it is false candy Hussein hello can i speak to karvin please mm can i speak to kavin please so it's a telephone call right can i speak to kavin please let's see what kavin says please kavin hello hussein i was not feeling well in the morning that's why i was absent today so what was the reason He says, "Hello, Hussein. I was not feeling well in the morning. That's why I I was absent today." Oh, when somebody says you are sick, how are you going to react to it? How will you react? Let's see how he reacts. How are you feeling now, ah, Kavin? Much. Now? How are you feeling now? So how does he reply? Yeah. Let's see. much better thanks yeah much better thanks you have to say you are supposed to say much better and that's thanks. great by the way you will be joining us on the trip won't mm won't you you'll be joining us on the trip won't you why not i am all set to go on the trip 
Did you get the itinerary? Mm, he's asking about the itinerary, right? For the program, when and where, where they are going. Yeah. So, who is asking about the itinerary? Yeah, Kaveen. Good. Who was sick? Kaveen or Hussein? Kaveen, you are right. Mm, we'll see what time the bus leaves. Mm? Yes, the bus will leave. The school premises at 5.30 in the morning, we were asked to come half an hour early. Mm, yes, the bus will leave the school premises at 5.30 in the morning. So, when will the bus leave? 5.30 in the morning. We were asked to come half an hour early. So, at what time should they be at school? 5 or oh, 5.15, half an hour early. Answer me, I'm doing some while reading questions. Okay, yes, half an hour. That is, if it is 5.30, they have to be at 5. Yeah, okay. Let's see how does uh, who's Kavin react. That means at 5 o'clock. Am I right? He's right, yeah. 5.30, 5, 5, yeah, okay. What does, how does Hussein reply? Yes. Earlier the better. Earlier the Kaveen, better. Kaveen, that's true. By the way, how about our meals? Mm, we have to think of it, right? How about our meals? What, how does Hussein reply? Let's see. We were asked to bring only breakfast in a lunch box or wrapped in a banana leaf. Banana lunch leaf. You know why I showed you the banana leaf now? Yeah. So, who asked to bring breakfast in lunchbox? Hmm? We were asked. Yeah, definitely the teachers, right? We were asked to bring only breakfast in a lunchbox or wrapped in a banana leaf. Lunch will be provided. So, will they get lunch? Yes, they will get lunch, right? Hmm. So, how are they talking? Are they talking face-to-face -face or telephone conversation? Yeah, it's a telephone conversation, right? So, let's see what Kavin says after that. Well, anything else? Mm, see, so he wants to know whether some, anything else also has been said. Mm. And next, the uniform. A cap, an umbrella and a, a notebook to write down notes when necessary. Mm, so, he's asking, well, anything else? So, Hussein? Can you read with me all the girls? Mm, an extra uniform, a cap, an umbrella, and uh, he's thinking, right? Uh, a notebook to write down notes when necessary. Yeah, how does he reply? All right. Is that all? Mm, is that all? all? Hussein, ah, I forgot to tell you. We. Oui. We're all given a booklet each with details about the places that we are going to see. Mm, ah, I forgot to tell you. We were all given a booklet to each with details about the places that we are going to see. Mm? Yeah. Oh, how can I get mine? Hussein, don't worry. I've got your copy with me. So, um, Kavin wants to know where his copy is or how can he get his copy. So, Hussein seems to be a good friend, right? He has taken Kavin's copy. Say it after this. Don't worry. I've got your copy with me. Kavin. Okay, thanks. I'll ask my father to get it on his way back home from work. Thank you for calling Hus mm, I'll ask my father yeah, to get it on his way back home from work. Thank you for calling Hussein. Bye. How does he reply? Hmm? How does he reply? How does he reply? Yeah. Yes. So he replies when somebody says bye. You also should say Hussein. Bye. Hussein. Sure. I'll give it to your father. Let me know the time. 
He's coming here. See you tomorrow morning. Bye. A. Mm, see you tomorrow morning. Bye. Yeah. So we see um, how they um, talk to each other, right? So I'm going to show this again. Right? I'm going to show this again. And you are going to speak again. Girls will be Hussein. Boys will be Kavin. Okay? If you can see me, you can see me, right? So girls, hands up. Hussein. Kavin. Boys. Yeah, so I can see you. Okay, so let's read. Yeah, so here we go. Hussein. Hmm? Where? Come on. Okay, I'll play on and off and I'll stop halfway. You have to read the rest. Okay? Right. Here we go. Hello. Can I speak to Karveen, please? Can I speak to Karveen, please? So, Karveen, girls. Hello, Hussein. I was not feeling well in the morning. That's why I was absent today. Mm, that's why I, I was absent today. Right. Boys? Oh, how are you feeling now? Kaveen, much better. Thanks. Much better. Thanks. Okay. That's great. By the way, you will be joining us on the trip, won't? Hmm. Yes, so that's great. By the way, you'll be joining us on the trip, won't you? Yeah? yeah let's Why not? Here. I'm all set to go on the trip. Did you get the itinerary? Hussein, yes. Yes. The bus will leave. The school premises? At 5.30 in the morning, we were asked to come half an hour early. Mm, we were asked to come half an hour early. Right. So let's go to the next part of it. Here we go. Right. So we'll start again. Ah. Okay. Ah. That means at five o'clock. Am I right? Hussein, yes. Earlier the better. Kaveen, that's true. By the way, how about our meals? How about our meals? Yeah, Hussein. We were asked to bring only breakfast in a lunch box or wrapped in a banana leaf. Lunch will be provided. Lunch will be provided. So, Kaveen, what does he ask? Well, anything else? Mm -hmm. Hussein and next uniform, a cap, an umbrella, and a, a notebook to write down notes when necessary. Mm. Kaveen, a notebook to write Kaveen. down when necessary. So, what does Kaveen say? Yeah, all right. Is that all? all right. Hussein, Is that all? ah. I forgot to tell you. We were all given a booklet each with details about the places that we are going to see. Kaveen, oh, how can I get mine? How can I get mine? You ask a question, right? How can I get mine? Uh huh. Let's see. Don't worry. I've got your copy with me. Kaveen, Okay, thanks. I'll ask my father to get it on his way back. Home from work. Thank you for calling Hussein. Bye, Hussein. Sure. I'll give it to your father. Let me know the time. He's coming here. See you tomorrow morning. Bye. Mm, eh. Bye. So he says bye, right? I'll see you tomorrow morning. Then he says bye. Yeah. So we just read with the app. 
right? So I'm going to ask you some questions and you are going to answer true or false. Listen, listen to me and answer true or false, right? Um, Kavin was sick. True or false? Mm, if you want, you can put it on the chat box. Um, they are going to Anuradhapura. True or false? Yeah, you can put it on the chat box. Right. They have to be at school at 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. What time did the teacher tell them to be at school? Right. The teacher told them to bring an umbrella, a notebook, and a lunchbox. Hmm? Yeah, lunchbox, breakfast. She has to bring the breakfast, right? Lunch will be provided, not lunch. Yeah, okay. Um, the teacher gave Kavin's, um, what did she give to Kavin? Uh, what did Hussein take? Hussein took the itinerary, right? Yeah, very good. Okay, so whose copy is with uh, Hussein? Kavin's copy. Yeah. Who gave a booklet? Teacher gave. So did teacher give a booklet to Hussein? One. Hussein got two booklets? True. Why? One is his and the other one is Kavin's. Right. Good. So here we go. This is our activity for today in your pupil's book. Page number 35. Right. Let's see. So we know there are two friends, Kavin and um, Hussein. Yeah, right. Answer now. Kavin didn't go to school because, because, what is the answer? Kavin didn't go to school because, yeah. You can put it on the chat box because he was sick. Lovely. Let's go to the second one. They are going on a trip to... Where are they going? Anuradhapura. Shall I type Anuradhapura? No. Jaffna? No. Then where are they going? They are going to Candy. Right. Here we go. Candy. Remember, children, always when you write names of places, names of people, you start with a capital letter. The pupils will leave the school at what time? Yeah, 6 o'clock? 4.30? No, 5.30 a.m., right? Right. The teacher asked them to bring... What did the teacher ask them to bring? Huh? Lunch? No. Then breakfast. Yeah, you can write a lot. What else did she ask them to bring? Yeah. Hmm? Anything else? Then what does he say? Umbrella, cap, a notebook. Okay. So you can say umbrella. Notebook, a cap. Yes, yes, so these were requested. Right. Read the next one. The information given in the booklet is about, is about what? Yeah? The details. Details of what? Details of places that they are going to visit. So you have to mention that. Okay? Right. Here we go. So this is a long sentence. Uh, information given the booklet is about the places that they are going to visit. You can, if you want, I can show you the show you the last answer. It should be this. Yeah. Yeah. So Hussein says, mm, yeah, this one. Let me draw it for you. Places we are going to see. 
this is the answer for the fifth one. Okay, this is the answer for the fifth one. So you can write that. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Right. So the answers are given. Look at the next activity, children. Read the following words aloud and circle the silent letters. We know silent letters are letters that you don't pronounce. Right? So what are the silent letters? I, I, I'm pronouncing the word. You have to tell me which letter is silent. Right? Which letter is not pronounced. Half. Half. Yeah? R. I will come to school in an R. Yeah? Rap. Rap. Yes. Right. Hmm? No. No. Did you underline? Yes. So half, half. L is silent there. R, H is silent there. Rap. Yeah. W is silent. Right. Um, w is silent again. No. Yeah. K is silent. So what are the other words, you know? What are the other? So this is um, find out more words with silent letters from a dictionary. So what are the other words? Think of the other words, you know. I'll help you with one or two. Me. What else? We had a word in a lesson today. Wrap. Yeah, it's given here also. Yeah, wrap. What else do we have? Read this word. Hmm? Tell me the word which is silent here. Yeah. And what is this? What is this word? Debt. Hmm? So I'll pronounce again. You decide which word is silent. Which letter is silent, right? Knee, wrap, climb, debt. Knee, knee. Me, which word is silent? Which letter is silent? Me, rap, climb, debt. So you get a lot of uh, more words like this, children. Talk to your teachers, talk to your parents, find words. Yeah, right. So this is your homework now. Homework, we love homework, right? Good. So find out more words with silent letters from a dictionary, books, and write them in your books. Okay, so you are going to find more words and write it. Yes, so we have come to the end of the session today. Right? So I hope this is useful to you children, which enhances your reading skills and other skills also. So till, till we meet again with another lesson. Bye.